Hello, I'm Steven. And I'm Steve. And this is Cherry Knoll Whiskey Reviews. Today, we're going to be starting a new series going down the path of wild turkey. Yes! So, uh, Wild Turkey is a Kentucky distillery. Uh, Eddie Russell was kind of uh, the master distiller who started all of it. Um, he started off with the standard Wild Turkey, calling it Wild Turkey 81. Uh, what proof is this bottle? This is 81. There you go. So it makes <laughs> sense. It's still 81 proof. Uh, it is a six to eight or six to nine year bourbon aged in new American white oak with a char Alligator level char. of four. It says it right there on the bottle. Right. So kind of the deepest, heaviest char, which so. should open up a little bit more, uh, space for the whiskey to actually come in contact with wood. Yeah. I I can't recall if I've ever actually had the regular wild turkey or not. I know I've had the 101 for sure. Um, but I don't know if I've ever actually had this or not. So it'll be interested. I'll be interested to see what I think about it. I think I have, but it's been a while. Yeah. So It'll be uh, like experiencing it for the first time all over again. Yeah, it's exciting. So, despite it being the lowest offering from them, still comes with a cork. Quality. And uh, so, Wild Turkey has... Uh, the standard wild turkey, wild turkey 101, <clears throat> rare breed, uh, Kentucky spirit. They've got a rye, a rye rare breed, and then it Say goes that in, five times. Five. Yeah, and then it goes into their master's keeps, which comes out just about every year. Uh, we have the 2022 master's keep <coughs> different which, every year i'm assuming they yep. tweak it up a little bit yeah, tweak it like a the bit. like the brt and stuff yeah. like that yep okay uh the 2022 <coughs> master's keep is a burr rye so a what a, a burr rye so a mix of bourbon and rye oh i see okay like so, like they make a bourbon and they make a rye and then they pour them together yeah okay gotcha yep that's interesting. Yeah. I wonder how that would compare to like a high rye bourbon. Uh, probably a little bit sweeter and mellower, mm. maybe. Yeah. Talk about sweet and mellow. Yeah. Yeah, I was just <laughs> thinking the same thing. You get a ton of vanilla. Yeah. Super sweet vanilla. Almost like a citrus orange. I was going to say a, a little bit of like a lemony, le lemony citrus to it. But so, so sweet. Caramels. Yeah. And like, like not painful to smell no. at all. Very, yeah, you, you very can, easy. You can definitely get your nose in there without having to yeah. uh, shy away. Yeah, absolutely. A little bit of oak right at the end. Tiny little bit. Right when I like kind of, kind of pull away, it it hits you a little bit yeah, a little before bit before it goes away. All right, you ready to get into it? I am. Very much the same on the palate as it was on the aroma. Yeah, uh, you got the sweet vanilla and caramel leading into a little bit of orange oak spice. Mm -hmm. Man, very, very pleasant. 
very easy to drink. Right, I was it's just going to say, uh, super smooth and easy, approachable. Definitely a good beginner mm -hmm. bourbon. You know, someone who's not looking to spend a lot of money because these are in that $20 20, range. Yeah, 20, 25 bucks. Uh, it's got good flavors. It's got, you know, your typical quintessential bourbon flavors. Mm -hmm. It's got a little bit of the orange, vanilla, caramels. There's, there's just enough there to be able to kind of sit down with it and unpack it, but it's still, it's, it's very approachable. Um, you don't really need to think too much about it. No. Um, definitely, definitely, like you said, like if somebody came to me and said, Hey, I want to get into whiskeys, go pick up a wild turkey. Yeah, I, I completely agree. It's just, it's enough of your typical bourbon to see if you like bourbon. Yeah. And yep. if you aren't a bourbon type person, then you only spent 20 bucks. Yeah. Yeah. And you can mix it with Coke. Or make old fashioned. Or make but an old fashioned. I think with that kind of orange peel. Yeah, that would be great. Would add a little yeah. extra to it. Absolutely. I'm curious to know how this differs from the 101, aside from obviously 20 points higher in proof, uh, what the what the difference between the flavor would be. Because uh, everybody I always think, says, go for the, the 101. I think the 101 has more rye in it. It okay. could be the exact same mash bill, but for some reason I'm thinking it's got a slightly higher rye mm. mash bill to it. Yeah. But I'm not sure if that like, would even make sense for them to make a separate mash bill just for 101. Yeah, yeah. Cause so so many people are always like, oh, if, if you're gonna get wild turkey, get get the 101. Don't even waste your time with this stuff. But it's, it's yeah. Not I bad. mean, for a lower proof entry, you know, it's it's definitely easier, I would mm -hmm. think, and it would probably draw more people to drinking bourbon starting at a lower point. Yeah. So. Definitely a good one. Yeah. Well, Turkey is definitely one of my top distilleries that yeah. I enjoy just sipping on. So I'm excited for the next few videos coming out that we get to uh, unpack everything and right go down and the see line. what they have to offer. Go down the wild turkey rabbit hole. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, with that being said. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.